Hundreds of protesters rallied in London's Trafalgar Square against Russia's invasion of Ukraine as Russia continues shelling Ukraine cities and the West prepares more sanctions. In retaliation, here's Ryan Florentino from our EBC UK Bureau. Ryan. Russian President Vladimir Putin laid out conditions on Monday for ending his invasion of Ukraine as Moscow forces shelled the country's second city and Western nations prepared even more sanctions. Putin's ultimatum came as Moscow and Kyiv held their first talks since the outbreak of war last Thursday, which shocked the world and provoked a massive diplomatic, economic, cultural and sporting backlash. Hundreds of protesters rally in London's Trafalgar Square against Russia's invasion of Ukraine to voice their opinions. Let's have a look. A few heartbroken, have my family there, uh, my wife's family there, my friends are there, everyone I grew up with are there. Nobody has, has fled, everyone is staying. People are um, basically are helping to defend Kiev, they are there. They are preparing Molotov cocktails. Basically, I can see the Instagram stories of my friends. They, it's not, it's not, a, it's not, it's not a cinema anymore. It's like it is real. When you see the explosions, at, at first I, when I saw that, I felt like a, like a movie. But it's because movies are so realistic now. But it's not a movie, and it feels so surreal. Like it's first you're in denial. Like it's not, it's, that, it's not happening. But then it. it it's just when when the realization comes, you just uh, it feels really sad and it's just impossible. It's very 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 hard, really difficult. If you can see here, Ukrainians, I think in every town anywhere in the world, all Ukrainians don't sleep, they don't eat, they. Um, I cannot say depressed, but it's by all having very unbelievably difficult time, especially after you talk to your family. British Transport Secretary Grant Shapps on Monday ordered an all UK seaports to turn away Russian vessels in response to the country's invasion of Ukraine. The banning order applied to any ship which they have reason to believe is operated by any person connected with Russia. Or on a sanctions list, he tweeted. Available flight options to return to the UK are limited and the Russian economy is becoming increasingly volatile, the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office tweeted. The UK government warned Tuesday that Russian President Vladimir Putin and his commanders in Ukraine could face prosecution for war crimes as indiscriminate shelling hit one city under invasion. The front pages of British newspapers carried photographs of two young girls killed by Russian attacks in Ukraine and the words of a doctor as he tried to save one of them, saying, show this to Putin. Reporting from the United Kingdom, I am Ryan Florentino, and we live in interesting times.